around this area is extremely dangerous so i'm not really sure what i'm up for dead rats and animals that they would literally sacrifice this is to take away anything that's bad with your body if you're sick <laughs> What is up guys? Thank you for watching Franco Travel. So today I'm going to be heading to a market where they sell witchcraft and brujeria. Now the thing is, is that around this area is extremely dangerous. So I'm not really sure what I'm up for and how well am I going to fit in walking through there. I am going to have the GoPro kind of strapped to the front. I'm not going to really try to do much hiding it because I'm in daylight. It's going to be really difficult to try to hide the GoPro in daylight. It is extremely hot out here and not even humid. It's just dry and hot, so I'm thirsty like crazy just walking through here. That being said, let's get into the video. So as you guys can see, at this point, I'm not even taking my watch because this area is kind of like high risk. And if they see my watch, they're gonna instantly know, they probably know what a garment is and they'll probably try to steal it or whatever. So I gotta be careful. And that's the worst part about South America is that theft is such a high thing out here that, uh, at any moment, someone could just grab. I might even get robbed just having the camera mounted on my chest as I do. So I'm gonna take the risk with you guys and seeing how this works. And if anyone asks me anything about what am I doing or what am I recording, I'm just simply gonna tell them I'm recording for mom. <laughs> and then seeing how well that works. All right, so I've made it to the city center, which could be dangerous. I'm not quite sure, but this is areas where they sell a lot of the saints and stuff. And that's... Con permiso? Perdón. Oh, está Ah, por allá. Now, usually what I was told is I have to be in the holy part, and if I get towards the holy part, I'm able to find my way into the more Satanistic part, which where they'll be selling all sorts of weird stuff. These are the good statues so far, but it's not far from the church. So I don't think I'm going to find anything in there, so I'm going to see if I can make my way towards the other stores here. And this is all holy, holy. Let me see. Uh, now I think the store is going to be kind of hidden. But I'm not sure how hidden it's going to be. So these are some tarot cards that I found and they sell them actually with the church. The same place where they sell the church stuff is the same place where they hide the other stuff. You just have to ask. So at this point now, I'm gonna see if I can keep looking. I wanna go into the more darker stuff. I'm not just looking for tarot cards. I wanna see where they have like the dark angels that you find inside the cemeteries, the, the I mean, the really dark stuff. This is gonna be a bit of a challenge for me because I don't want people thinking I'm from the media and I'm trying to expose them because technically they're not supposed to be selling it. I don't care. I just want to record it. The other part of this too is that there's a lot of gang members that uh, believe in that kind of dark stuff, Santa Maria and stuff. And no, no, gracias. They believe in that Santa Maria kind of stuff and uh, they use that to their advantage to get one up on their enemy or someone that they don't like or agree with or probably want to kill and they wish death upon them first before they try to kill them. So, but I think I'm getting close to something. I mean, this area did look kind of dangerous upon me walking through here. Okay, so I have an update. I actually spoke to one of the guys and I worked in one of the stores and I said, look, I'm doing a recording for a video and I want to be able to record the kind of like the dark stuff that they do out here, but where do they sell it? And I said, not in front of the church you're going to find it, but you're most likely going to find it if you go up this corner and you make a left, and then they should be able to show you over there. So, I'm just kind of talking a lot, so I'm just gonna make it short for you guys. But, uh, yeah, I asked him too if it's dangerous for me to record, 
because I'm just trying to do a vlog. And I said, to be honest, I don't know. Just be careful. This little area here, I gotta be careful for. No, no chiquito, que ya. Estamos allá en Venezuela. Sí. Buenas. Ahí, cuéntame, cuéntame, cuéntame. Yeah, see, that's what I'm trying to avoid. So looking here, they have these little fragrances that you can put inside your house. This is actually for amor, which is love, family, fugar, canta la envidia y malidad de dueño. So yeah, you burn this and pretty much just gives you like good luck and positive vibes through it. And over here are some other stuff. You burn some wood stuff and it kind of keeps you, you know, I guess happy. It gives positive vibes and stuff. Or it might get you too happy and next thing you know you're high up in the sky seeing Jesus. I'm not sure. So I found some more stuff here. If you look here, you can see the skeletons. Those are the same skulls that you find inside a lot of the tombs here. This is where they sell it at. Burn them, melt them onto other tombs. So I remember seeing a skull that had little white stuff on it, and this is for if somebody separates or for a divorce. Maybe two separate. Look at this one. Con forma de la naive. So a lot of these things too is to get you to fall in love with someone or someone to fall in love with you and this pretty much holds them to you. I think that's for love life <laughs> with the guy holding the girl. Look at this one. And so that way you guys could, you know, in case you guys want to find someone and make them fall in love with you and hold on to them nice and tight. That's what this is for. Look at all this. So this is interesting. This is called Sirigapi, or Sirigapi, traditional Tabasco de la Selva, uh, de negro, rustica del monte. I don't know what the, the, the cigarettes are for. I know they probably have tobacco in it, but I think it's for something else because that's a certain type of cigarette or something else. I'm trying to make sure I don't have too much of the light here. Some more tarot cards. Candles, Inca, and this is another one that you would put in your house and you'd burn so you could have money and prosperity. This is actually a card game. I own one of these, but I think this is actually a card game that might have a bit of a darker history than I know. But me and my grandpa used to play this. So, mom, if you're watching, me and grandpa used to play this game all the time. I don't know if grandpa was playing with that stuff. Oh, and this is like this weird type of thing that if you have knots in your back or, or your back is sore, you rub this against your back and it would release those knots. You see? Just like that picture. Tarot. There's more tarot cards here. And then Gala de Negra. If you wish bad against someone. Mal de horas. Malefion, ma, malef, malefios. Para envidias. Envidias. Para limpias. I guess to clean, to dirty, to make, it's whatever you want. You just pretty much, sometimes you bathe in that. They'll have like chicken blood or something and you just bathe in it while taking a shower. And you can utilize all that to your advantage, to whatever you want. La olla de la abundancia. La abundancia? Si. Sí. Y que, 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 que haces? Quien es? Cuando usted obtiene eso, nunca le va a faltar dinero en casa. Realmente soy una persona que nada le va a faltar. Eso significa la abundancia. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Bueno, no sabía. Yo voy por la gracia. So she also sells the Santa Muerte here. And that's right up here. Again, I'm just blocks from the church. But wherever there's good, you're definitely going to find evil. Look at that. This a lot of, and they're actually expensive. I don't know if they work or not. I'll leave that to your interpretation. But they have all different types of them. There's like white ones, red ones, and they all signify something. But I'm not too sure. Let me see if I could ask her. ¿Y qué es rojo? Claro, rojo, verde, negro es contra el mal, rojo es para el amor, el verde es para el trabajo. Trabajo. Y sucesivamente, o sea, cada color tiene su signo. Ah, bueno, bueno, bueno. No sabía. Gracias. So apparently, 
red. It could be for love. Uh, black is for death. Um, sometimes another form of red could be for amor. For white could be for something more positive or whatever. And yellow is for something else. But that's kind of in a nutshell what I kind of put together. Let's go see if I can find some more stuff. I want to see if they have like rat stuff. Oh, look at this. These are these little toys that I find all the time out there in the graveyard. Look at that. This is for good luck. Look at this. I have yet to ever see one of these. So it's a naked guy there. So these are all for good luck. They even have a saint on here. ¿Y qué tú tú solamente pone tu casa o tu bolsillo? Sí, para llevarlo contigo para que rechace todas las energías negativas. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Entiendo. This you pretty much bury this with stuff, and this is like if your aunt or your uncle get into a fight or something for like property or for money or whatever, they would use this, and you'll hold on to it and you can bury it or whatever. And this is so it can increase like arguments and fighting, which pretty much sustains distrust within the family. And that's what this is for. So I definitely don't want to buy one of these, but you know, just looking into it, which is pretty crazy. There's people that just went to buy some stuff, so I'm trying not to be rude. But look at that. I have yet to see one of these in the graveyard. I'm always seeing like some weird Satanistic stuff with the skulls and stuff. I think this one, this one is for love. Or origación, señor de mío, abriendo pero Amen. I guess this is a prayer. And I guess it's a good prayer for love and happiness. I, or I could be wrong and it's the complete opposite. I can't really tell. They have a prayer in the back, but this doesn't look too far different from the pillow with the cross on it. But I'll leave it to uh, your discretion. This guy right here, this is to take away anything that's bad with your body if you're sick or if you're going through stuff. This right here is pretty much you keep it on your person 24-7 and uh, it pretty much takes away any diseases or sicknesses that you have on you. I don't know if this is made out of plastic or a tooth. It looks like, like a hard plastic. So this is to take away all the bad stuff and to keep good luck on you. If you look, you could even see the stones on the inside. Those stones is like a, is a certain type of stone that you could buy outside. Stones and crystals and stuff. This is cool. So I did end up buying one. I felt like the lady was really informative telling me all the stuff, what it's for. I don't know if I'm not gonna keep this, but yeah, I bought it because I didn't want to make it look like she just gave me all that information for nothing and I just kind of left. So I kind of just paid her for something and you know, I, I guess I bought this, but yeah. But this is for bad luck to remove it all. I just like the rocks on the inside. It's pretty cool rocks. It's interesting. So here's some other books here they have on the side. Magia Blanca. Oraculo. Oraculo. I think Oraculo. Some more tarot cards. El Orico de la Ginta y Santa Muerte. What is this? Gran Libro de San Cristo. Christ, they cut off the head too and everything. They even have some more Santa Muerte here. Ooh, that is creepy. I remember seeing that on Ghost Recon where you have to like deal with like the gangs and there were like the cartels that did Santa Muerte stuff. I guess this is for more money. Some hands. I don't know what the hands are for. So this is pretty much the same thing that the lady showed me before, for food, money, and wealth. You can see the money in the background. And you pretty much just have this in your house for wishful thinking, or wishful, you know, you're just pretty much praying upon it. What is this? Look at this. La vida del dominico, domino. 
hoping that someone stands on somebody's face. Oh, there goes those little seeds again inside the statue. That was interesting. I remember seeing that earlier. Una consulta, ¿qué es esto, pa? Oh, mala suerte, buena suerte para dinero. Ah, bueno, bueno. Bueno, solamente mirando porque no sé. <laughs> solamente preguntando. What is this? Panos de Florentiano. ¿Y eso lo mismo? Para, ah, ok, ok. So all this stuff here is for, for money. So in case you want to be rich or have more money, you have these little cards here. And you put them in your house or take it with you, and this will pretty much help you grant that for more money. I think the U.S. could use that. What is this for? Felicidad. Oh, this is for happiness. Felicidad. ¿Y tú quema esto? Sí. Lo quema, ¿verdad? Ah. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Como un palo. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I still have to remember how dangerous this area is, because when the bus stops, anyone could just jump off the bus and try to grab my stuff and and make a run for it. But this whole little section here seems to have all the saints. Unfortunately, I'm not finding like the dead animals and stuff and the rats, which is kind of what I was curious about, just to seeing what they have. So in order for me to find these places, I was looking up videos on the internet and I found one where they were selling dead rats and animals that they would literally sacrifice to the dark arts, you know? And for the life of me, I thought that was here, but it wasn't. I was actually looking at a video or a place in Mexico and that wasn't taking place here. So that completely threw me off. Okay, so right now I'm heading towards the center of Lima and I did see a whole bunch of parades going through here. The people honking are taxis that want to just pick you up. They keep stopping by and trying to get your attention, yelling at you, saying taxi, taxi, which gets annoying. Kind of like in Argentina when they're just always saying cambio, cambio. Kind of the same thing. It's kind of abandoned out here. I feel like I'm in the scene of, of Desperado. shopping malls. So if you guys see me take my hat off and cover the camera, it's because I'm in a not so well area. Another thing to note is that this is one of the most oldest part of Lima here. This is like the main Area. These places here have been around here for years and they're either abandoned or just not being touched anymore. I do kind of have my camera on a bit of a wide angle lens. Let me know what you guys think about it. If it's distracting, I can put it on a more linear. But I feel like you guys are able to see a little bit more, especially when I have the camera onto my chest. Wow, look at that house back there. That is a terrible place to live. I don't know if you guys see that in front of me, but there's like this big type of building just kind of hidden in the corner here. Looks like something you would see in a movie. Yeah, I don't even know if people live in there. They probably do. You see like kind of curtains and stuff. I think that's one of the only sucky things about Peru, not all of Peru, but the majority of it doesn't believe in AC, so everyone's hot. Whether you're inside or outside, it's just like the strong heat that kind of hits you. Look at that building right up through there. Kind of looks like a prop from a movie scene. I don't even know if these are abandoned. Oh, these are other buildings too, like apartments. Wow. That's actually cool. I just like how it's hidden in there.
So I've made it away from the area with uh, with all the church and the, the dark arts and the dark magic. That area kind of finished. I was expecting a lot more, believe it or not. But uh, I got manipulated and confused with Mexico, which Mexico has some awesome stuff. So I got to go check out Mexico and see what they have at their cemeteries and what they sell at the stores because they just sell it like nothing. But I now made it back to the capital. And if you don't recognize this place, I was just here at night where there was thousands of people, which apparently there still seems to be thousands of people here. Just kind of celebrating, visiting it. And this is pretty much where the president's house is. So I think at this point now, I'm gonna see if I can make my way inside the church so I could cool off just a little bit and uh, probably change the battery to my GoPro because I'm not sure how much battery I have left. It's so bright outside, I can't see anything. Oh, well, they got royal guards in the front of the... I've never seen that there before. That's actually the first time. I think the last time they had guards covering this whole area because it was afraid of a riot or a protest when they kicked the president out of office. I think it was about a year ago. And everybody was expecting for like a whole civil war going on in here, but thank God it didn't. And it's pretty much against the indigenous people kind of being in here. But no, it seems to be back to normal, quiet. So it looks like something happened up here past the horses. I like how the horse has cuernos, little horns. Oh, nothing happened. I think they're celebrating or doing a party or something. Let's go take a look. There are cops with riot shields in the front. So I'm not sure if this is some sort of protest or something. Maybe it is a protest. Maybe things are not as happy as I thought they were. Oh, there's a little drone in there. Oh, they're taking a picture. So at this point now, I kind of got rejuvenated. I got some rest and I don't feel like I'm so like heat sick from the sun. I'm gonna see if I can make my way to one of the most haunted places in Peru. Now, apparently this is kind of coming under the cover of a huge house that's been abandoned by a Japanese person. And ever since then, there's thumps, sounds of being heard. And I think a couple of people died in it or something. Let's go head over there and let me get out of this little city place. So I've made it to a restaurant so I could grab something to eat. So that way I can stay hydrated and have some food in my belly. And then from there, head to the haunted house. So the name of this restaurant is called El Chinito, which pretty much means the Chinese guy. Um, seriously, that's exactly what it means, the Chinese guy. And the name of the house that I'm gonna be going to that's super haunted is called El Casa Maltusita, which is pretty much a, a Japanese last name because the people who owned it was Japanese uh, before something bad happened there. However, I won't be going inside the mansion because it's been abandoned and it's not allowed to the public due to all the chaos that goes on on the inside, apparently. But I'll be showing you from the outside with uh, some cool, creepy news articles as to what's been going on on the inside. All right, so I just got my food. This is the chicken sandwich I was telling you guys about with some cheese. And it looks amazing. Now I shall devour and conquer. Kiss me, my dear, and I will reveal my crochet. Spread your pate, beat my leg in your vicious wall. Let's try it here. I like it. I'm gonna finish this and then I'll get back into the video. So I finally made it to the house of Matusita. Now the lore to this house was that a woman that owned the second floor was doing all sorts of witchcraft upstairs. So the town got together and got her out of the second floor and brought her outside where they ended up taking her life. So years after her passing, a Japanese man ended up buying the property. After purchasing the property, he moved in with his wife 
and his two children on the second floor. And then one day, he came home and seeing his wife with another man. So within his rage, he ended up taking the life of his wife and his two children. After committing the horrendous crime, he took his own life. And ever since then, the ghost of Matusita, which is the gentleman, is known to roam the second floor where you could hear the moans of his children and his wife to this day. And no one is allowed to go up there in fear that the angry spirits will follow you home. So at this point now, I'm coming towards the end of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did get to do pretty much the majority of the things that I wanted to do today, um, including being able to see this house that was haunted. I was hoping I could actually have access to going inside, but even the taxi driver told me, no, they actually cleaned it out. Everyone knows about that house back in the day and everyone wanted to go inside because of all the activity. But, you know, not everything lasts forever and that was one of them. But anyway, let me know if you guys liked what you've seen. Any suggestions in the comments below? And until the next time, I will see you guys in the next adventure. Bye, guys. Cheers.